All right, hello friends. Um, this is a different video today. We're gonna have two videos of me, uh, one for math and one for ELA, but so we're gonna start off with our math video for today. And um, it's pretty simple. I thought my washing machine was done, but clearly it doesn't wanna be done. Oh, now it's done, okay, good. So we're gonna start off with a math video today. And what this video is, is not quite like a review for your test, but this is kind of gonna be that part of the day if we're taking a math test where you guys have the test in front of you and I go through it with you, like reading, reading some of the directions um, and go making sure that you guys see every question and stuff like that. Except today I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth than I normally would because it has been a long unit. There was a lot to it and I'm gonna give you guys a couple of little shall we say pointers uh, to go along with, okay? So the thing that you might wanna do at this moment is if you have a second window or a second device, whatever it might be, would be to open up said math test, okay? Uh, I sent it out, it's the assignment for June 23rd, uh, module seven, end of mod test, okay? I have it in front of me, so just in case I need it, so it would make sense if you guys had it too. Now, the test starts off by just asking you guys to make tape diagrams, which is fine, it's, and it's conversions. You need to make the tape diagram to show the conversions. It's gallons and quarts is one of them, and uh, quarts and pints is the other, okay? Now, the second part of it is the chart, and the two charts they give you for number two are pounds and ounces and hours and minutes. I added a third chart for yards and inches because that comes along later in the test. And instead of putting it down here in the corner, I figured why not put it with, with all the other charts. So now, uh, in case anyone forgot, any of the conversions are very Googleable. Type in pounds to ounces, you'll find it. But it would make more sense if you just paid attention now and did the math for yourself. Um, or if you want to go back and check your old work, you can do that too. Uh, but here we go. So pounds, one pound. And you'll see pounds as L, V, S, possibly throughout the test. To ounces is 16 ounces. And you'll see ounces referred to as O, Z, okay? So one pound is 16 ounces. So then for every pound, you have to multiply by 16. So if you want to know two pounds, you do two times 16 to get the ounces, okay? So you multiply by 16. The next one is hours to minutes. This one should be pretty simple because we use hours and minutes on a daily basis. But just in case you forgot, one hour is 60 minutes. So you're multiplying by 60. So if you have two hours, it's multiplying by 60. Three hours, you multiply by 60 to find the number of minutes, okay? If they give you the total number of minutes, you have to divide by 60 to get the hours. Because here, 60 divided by 60 would be one. Now. I'm gonna get to this one right now. This one says yards and inches. This is kind of combining three units into one chart. Now, a yard, everyone knows is, or should know is, three feet. So now, you should know that one yard equals three feet. But now, how many inches are in each foot? Well, if you think to yourself about a ruler, and you know that a ruler is one foot, and on a ruler, there are 12 inches. So, 12, 12, 12 for three feet in the yard. So one yard is 36 inches, okay? And the same thing, you would multiply by 36. So for each additional yard, you multiply by 36. So if you have two yards, two times 36 is three yards, three times 36 is, and so on. Now. That's question two and question six. You're welcome. And if you were smart, you'd be taking notes. Maybe if you're lucky, I'll put a picture of this up. But we'll see. Or actually you guys would see it already being that I already posted the assignment. But anyway, I digress. Question number three, true and false questions. Here's the thing, you have to convert. Because on this side, you have ounces. On this side, you have pounds. You can't just blindly pick one 
without converting it. So in this case, you would either have to convert the ounces to pounds or the pounds to ounces. If it was me, I would convert from pounds to ounces because I would rather multiply than divide. So four pounds times 16 gives you your ounces. Easy peasy. Then over here, 920 minutes is greater than 17 hours. I don't know. The only way you can figure it out is by converting, which means you either need to divide 920 by 60, but that doesn't seem like the easiest way to do this now, does it? So I would not do that, but you could always multiply 117, sorry, 17 times 60 to find your total number of minutes, okay? So that's number three without giving you the actual answers. Number four is all about converting again, okay? Again, these are all, if you don't know them, maybe look them up, but these are metric kilometers, meters, liters, milliliters, and then we get to the last one, feet, inches, which we already did, feet, inches, up here. And if you don't know that there are 12 inches in a foot, we got a problem, okay? So now, those are just straightforward conversions. Then, you have number five. But before we get to number five, here is your bonus of the day. What, what? Bonus of the day. What, what? This is my brand new Father's Day hat from my wife and daughter. If you can tell me what four letters are on this hat, either on the stream or in the comment section for this test, and then leave your address, you will get something sent to your house. And in case you are having trouble seeing that, it is LBNY. LBNY for Long Beach, New York, where I used to live, and it is one of my favorite places in the whole world, okay? So, those letters on the stream, on the assignment with your address. Now, number five, you're adding and subtracting with units, okay? I'm actually gonna tilt the camera down just a little bit to make sure that everyone can see it, okay? So you're adding and subtracting with units. So the first one is adding. The adding ones are a little bit easier because you have four gallons, two quarts, and five gallons, and three quarts. Well, if you're a smart person, you know that there are four quarts in one, gallon, wink, wink, for the first problem. So you need to add these together, and then you're gonna wind up with two quarts and three quarts, which is five quarts. You have more quarts than are in a gallon. You need to regroup your units. I'm not gonna tell you how to regroup your units, but I'm just gonna tell you, you have to regroup your units. And the same thing goes for when you are subtracting, except when you're subtracting, you regroup your units at the beginning instead of at the end, okay? So here, six feet, two inches, minus nine inches. Well, can I do, can I subtract nine inches from two inches? No. And it's just like what you do in a regular subtraction problem. You have to regroup, go next door. It involves crossing out the feet, making this five feet, but then the, what you have part you have to do with the 12 inches is up to you. It's very similar, and we've done this a, a lot during remote learning. I've taught this so many times during lives that I don't even know what to tell you if you don't remember this at this point. But it's a lot like improper fractions, or not, uh, improper fractions and mixed numbers, okay? So there's 12 inches you have to float around. Maybe you should add them together and then subtract. But anyway. Uh, this does require you guys to do a lot of work um, that you cannot do on the computer. And when I say a lot of work, I mean you just have to show your work. Standard work, you're regrouping, you have to show that you're regrouping and all that stuff. Okay? These are all things that cannot be done on a computer. You need to rewrite the questions. There's not a lot of them, there's only six questions. They have multiple parts, sure, but nothing you can't do. Rewrite them on paper as you're solving. Take pictures upload the pictures, and that is what I will grade. If you send me back a Microsoft Word document, I should not cut off my head for this part, a Microsoft Word document with that's edited with answers and things circled or whatever, you're getting a zero, a big fat zero on your last test of fourth grade. Some of you, 
have received work that is going to determine whether you're going to summer school or not. That's due today. So make sure you're doing it. Um, other than that, I will see you guys at 1.30 if you're watching this before then. And if you're not, uh, I will see you on Wednesday at 1.30. And also, I'm trying to put something together for you guys for Friday uh, for a last day of school, kind of a little celebration get together in the morning via Zoom or Google Classroom or something like that, okay? So, uh, math test, I'm giving you guys two days to get it in. And we'll go from there. All right. Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.